If you've ever run errands online, like bought a gift, checked your bank account, or set up a doctor's appointment, chances are you've been approached by a chatbot. Chatbots are virtual assistants designed to make the customer experience easy and enjoyable. Backed by advancements in AI technology, many chatbots are succeeding in doing just that. But experts agree that as conversationalists, chatbots leave much to be desired, namely emotion. Emotion plays a central role in how we communicate with one another. The ability to perceive someone's emotional state and respond appropriately is what makes conversation effective and satisfying for those involved. While scientists have yet to teach machines to feel like humans do, they are finding ways to make chatbots more emotionally intelligent. One of those scientists is Professor Min Li Huang of Tsinghua University in China. Alongside other experts, he's helped design computer systems that can perceive the emotion behind written text and generate meaningful responses in return. Among these systems is the Emotional Chatting Machine, or ECM for short. ECM is trained on a data set of real human interactions. These interactions are arranged in pairs. For every user-generated text or post, there's an appropriate response. Both posts and responses are manually labeled as conveying one of five basic emotions. Happy, sad, disgust, anger, or a friendly feeling referred to as like. Using a machine learning algorithm, ECM learns to generate responses loaded with one of these five emotions to new posts it's never seen before. As far as chatbots go, ECM's performance is impressive. In early tests, human experts rated ECM's responses higher than those of state-of-the-art chatbots. That means they found ECM's responses to be most like what a real person would respond to a given post. But it would be a stretch to say that ECM is ready to replace any human operator. That's partly because ECM still has much to learn. Any AI-based system, as they say, is only as good as the data it's trained on. And one problem ECM faces is a lack of real, structured human dialogue from which it can make the connections we instinctually make between context, word choice, and emotion. That's a problem Professor Wang is currently addressing for the Chinese language. Another problem he's interested in is teaching chatbots common sense. Seemingly simple statements can actually be quite complex when you consider the relationships between the words and concepts that are implied. Those implications readily come to mind in human conversation, but the process isn't as seamless for machines. Boosting these and other sensibilities could help make chatbots more human-like to users. And while much work remains to be done, we might one day find ourselves lost in conversation with an automated assistant while trying to shop online.